So Simon, you invented the Remora Solo, right? That's correct. You know all about it, inside and out. Yep. All right. So tell us a little bit about it. Um, what can we expect inside of this? What can we get out of the motor? Well, inside the inside the unit is a powerful gear motor, and it turns about 250 RPM max. It's got a ton of torque, and it should have enough power to clean any job that you want to do underwater. Oh, that's great. And I noticed that you put some features in here, like this button here. What's that? That's the pause button. That's a unique feature of Remora. But okay. that allows, well, it allows the diver to stop the machine, perform an additional task, mm -hmm. say scraping off a barnacle or, or doing cleaning off a shaft, and then re-hit the pause button and the machine starts back up again at exactly the same RPM and speed that it was turning before. Well, that's pretty cool. So that's this button right here. So I can turn this either right-handed or left-handed, right? Uh, that's actually the, that actually controls the speed of the motor, either right hand or left hand, and the pause button allows you to pause it or restart it. Great, so uh, let's see. Well, that's pretty cool. How'd you come up with this idea? Well, when we first built a couple of prototypes, we had uh, just a switch that turned the thing on and off. Um, and it turned out to be fairly unwieldy for the diver to use. And uh, we thought about it and worked with it and worked with our electronics engineer and came up with this, this uh, control scheme. Now, divers like it? They do. They do very much. That's cool. And um, this cap here, is why is this metal? Everything else is plastic. That's a good question. Um, in the internal components generate heat. And this uh, is a heat sink and allows the heat from inside the unit to be transferred to the surrounding water. It's also aided by a fan that's coupled to the motor that keeps the air circulating. So that keeps your remora running cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we've, we've tested it in waters up to 90 degrees. Nice. Um, battery, 21 amp. What does that mean? Uh, your typical power uh, tool, your cordless power tool, will be around a 4 amp, 3 to 4 amp battery. And this machine is designed for continuous use. So a 4 amp battery will only give you maybe a half hour's worth of running time. That battery will give you up to, up to 6 hours of running time, depending on what speed you're running. We've had divers relate to us that they use the same battery all day, 8 boats. And so they're getting a lot of use out of it. And it, it just gives you more time in the water and more time to get in your groove and clean the, clean the boat. Um, so, you know, big ball divers can be down there eight hours, they can use, and it has a problem. How do you know if it's working properly? Well, if the machine does uh, uh, show a fault, um, that speed control has a data logger. And that data logger allows us to track how many hours it's been run for, what speed it's been run at, um, the voltage that the battery had, and it allows us to go through troubleshooting to be able to find out whether the machine, is, if there's something wrong with the machine, something wrong with the battery. So it really helps us for troubleshooting. Yeah. I imagine that'll help you make the unit better and improve it as time goes by and more diversity. It does. Use. It does very much so. Great. So I'm noticing on the brush here, it has all these little slats over here. What's that for? Well, that's a that's a good question. This is an impeller. Basically, it's like a centrifugal pump, the same as your water pump in your car. Only this one is unique in that it works both directions, left hand and right hand. Most centrifugal pumps only turn one direction. So this sucks water in through here pushes it out of the slots in the top of the brush, and then that creates a suction that pulls the brush against the hull or on the surface being cleaned. So as that rotates, the faster you turn it, the harder it pushes or pulls against the, the hull. And it actually, it actually works quite well. It provides a regulated pressure so that you're not removing excess paint and, you're, and the diver does not have to push the machine against the hull. Okay, and that ensures that the paint or the surface is not going to be damaged. Correct. When you use the right rotation and the right type of brush, and we have many different styles of brushes, then you could, the diver can make an educated decision as to whether or not he's going to be damaging the particular type of paint that he's working on. Oh, that's neat. So I imagine you're pretty confident in this. What kind of warranty can somebody expect? Well, uh, the warranty is in two parts. We have a full 30-day satisfaction guarantee. You buy the machine, use it for 30 days, not for you, send it back. And for a, rest a minor restocking fee, we'll refund your money. The other warranty is a full one-year warranty, and that's bumper to bumper on this thing. Okay, so if it breaks down, how long am I going to be without a unit? That's that, that's one of the, the advantages that we have. We will ship you a new unit right away. The day we find out, after we ask you a couple of questions, we'll ship you a new unit. When that unit shows up, you stick, pull the new one out, stick the old one in the box, and send it back to us. Awesome customer service. Uh, we pride ourselves in customer service. All right, well, thank you, Simon.